What up? Thanks, Zorko. Yeah, that's a lot of energy. I don't know if I can match that, but I'll try. So how are you guys doing tonight? You stoked? Surprised? Anyone? Anyone surprised to see me? I mean, I don't know. I didn't think I'd be here. So for, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Steve Stepp. I've been in the free ski industry and skied professionally for almost 20 years now, which is crazy. But uh, the funny thing is, I've been trying to leave the industry for about five years, but Saga Outerwear owes me so much money, I feel trapped like one of R. Kelly's victims. <laughs> but um, yeah, a little bit about me. Uh, not too long ago, I was filming full video parts with 4x9 Media, one of the best. I even did contests here and there. Um, but then I transitioned into what I think most people know me for, which is my web series called They See Me Trolling. So I, over the years, I, I've had a lot of fun with the series, a lot of success, met so many great people. Um, I had a lot of awesome guest appearances like Torin Yader Wallace, Nick Gepper, Bobby Brown. Somehow I even managed to get Waka Flocka on my show, so I consider that a personal success. Um, so in, in recent years, I just sort of gave up and just made up completely fictional characters, fake, just fake skiers. You probably know some of their names. Abraham Kane, Stephanie Stepp, and of course the pot-smoking, foul-mouthed degenerate known as Zane Cushman. That's what's up. These videos actually ended up being some of my most popular videos, which sounds great until I realized that people only like me when I'm pretending to be someone else. So, good for me. But yeah, Trolling as a series, it was controversial. Um, we made jokes about girl skiers, contests, specific coaches, swag, style. Honestly, it's not surprising why all my sponsors dropped me. Spy, I know you're ignoring my email, Spy. I, I just hope Magnus doesn't hate me. I actually like Magnus. But uh, that's enough about me. Um, yeah, I'm stoked to be here. Evan and the New Schoolers guys, they asked me to do this uh, like a couple months ago. And at first I was honored, but genuinely confused because I was like, well, thanks, man. That's, that's great. But I thought New Schoolers went out of business like, years ago. And Evan, Evan was, E. Heath was like, no, no, don't, don't worry. He reassured me. He's like, the site's booming. We're doing great. We have almost 29 active members left. So we're doing, we're killing it. So I, yeah, I gladly, gladly accepted the offer. Um, I was really nervous. I still am nervous. Um, I've never done anything like this. So judging by how it's going now, I probably won't ever do it again, but there's still plenty of time for me to fuck this up even worse. So, um, so yeah, the, in, in the weeks leading up to this, there was a couple of nights I was just like stressing out. Like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to write. I couldn't sleep. I, I mean, I was just laying in bed awake. And so I realized I could just put on a Sherpa cinema movie and fall right to sleep. It worked like a charm. No, I'm not kidding. I don't own any of their movies. But yeah, it's great to see New Schoolers is, is still the core free ski community on the internet. They've done a great job adapting to free skiing as a whole, adapting to the internet. They've given a ton of people different opportunities. I mean, hell, they loved E. Heath cyberbullying so much they gave him a job. Makes you wonder why Skier Man isn't the CEO. But um, yeah, NS New Schoolers has a special place in my heart. I grew up on this site. A lot of you guys grew up on this site, but um, it, it was the catalyst like, for my generation when I was younger to become the future generation of pro skiers. So like Stepped, Will Wesson, Andy Perry, 4x9, they all got their start on this site. Even one of the most legendary hot riders of all time, Tom Wallace is here. Yeah, you know, we, we both got our start on this site. Uh, we eventually moved out to Utah and he's come a long way. Look, look at him now. He's on North Face, he rides for Monster, 
He's fucking won the X Games. And I'm stuck here doing whatever this is. So good for me. But yeah, well, big shout out to NS. Thanks so much for giving me the opportunity to do this. I was scared, kind of nervous. Um, but I wanted to make it fun for everyone. I wanted to make it funny, kind of roast some people, roast myself. Um, I told him I would, I know sometimes these award shows get long, drawn out, and boring. So I told him I tried to keep it as short as I can. Maybe not as short as Andre Regetli's skis, but I'll try to do my best. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. Anyway, so tonight at the New Schoolers Award, we are, we're offering 17 New Schoolers Awards, handing them out to people who are redefining skiing, um, and they're changing the community. So let's give it up for the guys who uh, put, put this event together, and uh, we'll get right into our first event. All right, we good over there, video guys? So our, our first award of the whole night is gonna be Men's our... Breakthrough of the Year. Like there we go. Jake Majot. <laughs> Sam Zahner. Crypto skier. <laughs> Sam Cooch. <laughs> Lori Kivari. Kind of had a little bit of a, a mess up there, but I'm going to give a little bit of a speech for our Breakthrough Skier of the Year. So we wanted the, uh, the Breakthrough Award to be sort of the most influential and meaningful award. Um, and when I say Breakthrough, I mean a skier's performance, not Tanner Hall's ankles literally breaking through his ski boots. Uh, skip that one. Anyway, um, so this award is supposed to be for like an up-and-comer, a hot rider just trying to break into the limelight, and we, we really considered a new or unknown skier who drops a game-changing edit, a video, contest run, or anything like that. So after viewing the nominees, our winner here is Jake Majo, Mango. <laughs> Come on up here, buddy. 